Hello, beautiful people. I am Vlad from Synaptic Schism, and today we are going to talk again about AI. I am not going to express my thoughts about it. I'm going to leave a card in the corner to a video where I explain my position. This was on the context of Bandcamp, but everything that I think about AI in the context of music will be in that video. So if you want to know and understand my position, please watch that, that video. I asked you guys what I should be working on this week. I was, in a way, hoping that the AI topic wasn't that much voted, but it was. So I'm going to tell you all of the story and my thoughts around all of this, okay? So some time ago, I was followed by this profile on Twitter. Please do not retaliate. This is for us to have a conversation. If you have strong feelings about any of these, please make it make yourself heard, but don't be negative towards people, okay? They are not necessarily bad people. I don't know the person in question, all right? So I was followed by this profile, and usually when I'm followed by a profile, I check their music. And as I was checking uh, their music, I noticed obviously that the art was AI generated, but there's a bunch of artists uh, doing that. I also noted that the cadence uh, of releases was pretty high. So you can see something like August 1st and then July 25, July 19, stuff like that. So I decided to check their Spotify and their Spotify is something like this. And to me, it started to raise some concerns when I listened to the tracks, because if you listen to this, And then you listen to something like this. Hey, I know you're messing up. We're ahead in the world. Got the pedal to the metal. We're in control. By the way, I do love the song. Now, this doesn't give any artist identity. You know what I mean? If you listen to two of my tracks, they kind of feel that they make sense that those tracks are mine, that those two tracks come from the same artist. Clearly, this is not happening here, right? So, in a way, I was suspicious that this was AI-generated music. I did not have any kind of proof that this was true. The only thing that I that I checked was that, uh, yeah, that there were a number of tracks that were being released at the high speed. There was this thing about basically using something that is trending for the sake of releasing a song and then very likely getting into playlists and, and stuff like that. And if you check the if you check the profile, it does say that new song release every Thursday during July and, and August. So this means that songs like this that sound quite high production level would be released every every week. Now, I can barely release three tracks per year. And most of the people that I know that release tracks usually have a very hard time to release more than one per month if that track is of a higher production value. At this point in time, I was pretty much sure that this was AI, but I didn't have any, any proof of that. So I continued to dig a little bit more and I was able to find their Facebook profile Profile. And in their Facebook profile, there's no doubts about what's going on. It's clearly written here that it's AI music. Okay, so I followed uh, this up on Twitter saying that I was investigating and trying to get some answers from Spotify and from DistroKid, trying to understand if, if this made any sense, because this is not about artistic output in a way. This is music as a commodity, but being used for mass audiences. And that didn't really, I didn't really like that. I felt that, and I still do, that there's a place for AI music if you need music as a commodity, like background music, or if you need like a jingle or you know for those things for things like the music that youtube makes available for people to do their videos for that kind of stuff it makes sense but if you're making music for listeners of music you are for the most part presenting yourself as an artist but if you are using this generative software you aren't an artist you are someone that is able to write a prompt there's nothing fundamentally different in you that expresses you in your music music. This is a very good example, for instance, because what this person is doing is creating music based on very vague and clicky and in the moment kind of vibes. You know, it has stuff for Copa America, it has stuff for the Olympics. 
And this this is this is weird to me. I understand that generative AI has music has a place for specific business needs, but I have quite a hard time understanding why is it even possible to consider this music for services where the objective is for the people to consume music. We should be consuming music that is an expression of the artist that created that music. That that's how I feel about it. And I really felt that this was a bad way to do it. So Spotify replied and I did contact their services. And uh, what I said was, hi, I was folded on X by an artist. As I checked the profile and music on Spotify, I found that it mostly likely AI music. I don't know if this goes against Spotify's terms or service, but I'd like to get clarification and if against the TOS reported. Now I went through uh, a, a conversation with the bot <laughs> until I finally got to a human being and the human being replied just for your information as long as the music meets the metadata guidelines there will be no issue you will be able to upload the music to Spotify to which I replied obviously that this is very sad to hear because these accounts are getting thousands of streams with AI music. Thank you for your help clarifying it though. I still got one more answer, which was, I completely understand how that feels, but if the music meets the metadata guidelines, there will be no issue. Now, this is very disheartening for me. The way that I see all of this stuff is I have the expectation that music can be a commodity. I understand that. And there are commercial interests in that. I fully understand that. But places like Spotify, Spotify and distributors like DistroKid. And I'm not singling out these two. The songs that from this profile are in other platforms and this could probably work in other distributors. This is not about Spotify specifically or DistroKid. These are the things that I would expect artists not having to deal with. I completely understand music as a commodity for, gener for generated music, but I don't understand how this is trampling the users. And you can say, oh, but it's a very large market and so on. It isn't. There's only a finite number of people using a finite amount of time to listen to a finite amount of streams. So this is hurting artists that have expectations regarding the commercial viability of their music. And the people that are uploading this to Spotify, they are not musicians. They aren't. They aren't artists. They shouldn't be able to do this stuff. They are taking room and streams from artists who are pursuing a career. I don't care if people don't listen to my music on Spotify. I, I truly don't. But there are a ton of artists that have expectations of a career. And if they take a month, two months, three months to release something and someone can go into these services and create a song per week, is this really the music that we want for the general public to listen in the future? One last thing that I did with this experience. I picked up a song from this account and I showed it to friends of mine. I showed it to a group of friends who are like uh, generic listeners. They said the song was cool and they were unable to grasp that it was AI music. So I sent it to another friend of mine who, he's a musician, although he doesn't record anything. He plays a couple of instruments and he knows what he's talking about. And I sent him the music and asked him what, what was that he thought about it. Now it's important to note that I've been having a lot of conversations with this friend of mine about uh, how real music sounds, especially my music, because it's full MIDI. And although he does like my music, he's very critical because he feels that it's obvious that the music is like created in a computer and so on. So his feedback was very important to me. And he kind of decomposed the music, that particular song completely. He gave a ton of thoughts about how it was constructed, how it was played. And it was very interesting to get his feedback. And then I told him all of this is AI. And he was like, well, surprised. And I felt that from this message, this was all via WhatsApp. It was kind of heartbroken for artists. This stuff will go on Spotify completely unchecked and people won't be able to say if this is AI music or not. It took me quite a bit of digging to find out that this was in fact AI music. A good friend of mine that has a good ear and knows a little, quite a little bit about, about music was completely fooled. So is this what's going to happen in the future? We are just going to have recycled AI generated music 
Because trust me, if because of the commercial incentives that you are giving right now, and by you, I mean you corporations, if because of these financial incentives that are going towards generative AI, you end up not having financial incentives for people who are created the music, trust me, you will have a lot less data to train in the future. You are quite literally biting yourself. You are doing the wrong thing and you are very likely removing the incentives that keep the creative part of this whole business going on. So I hope you think again. This needs to stop. We cannot have this stuff going. This is unfair for artists. It's unfair for your listeners. And these people who maybe are wonderful people, they are not artists. And if they are, this is not their best work. So I hope that this video gets to a bunch of highballs and that we can have a discussion about this. Okay. So until the next video, Vlad 